We created this demo site for commercial insurance agencies that have the biggest challenge with cross-selling their book of business because the client doesn't want to offer group health insurance. And why would they if they're a group less than 50? Yeah, maybe it's important to help them attract and retain employees. Maybe that's the reason why. But it's a big ask to get them to invest that money into a group health plan when the incentives are there for employees to have plans on the federal marketplace. The subsidies are there. And if they offer a group health plan, they potentially negate that subsidy for the individual employees. Not to mention, the employer is not required by law to offer a health plan if they're fewer than 50 lives. So we have all these things working against us. And so we designed a non-medical package and we put it on Employee Navigator. And I'm going to show you how to do it. This is powered by Grow VB Sales. So we built a non-medical package. And I'm going to use my man, Neil Armstrong. So I got Neil in here. I'm going to take you to the moon today. I'm going to walk you through his benefit elections and what we've done. So here you can see the steps. So we got a little bit into it. We got Neil here. The first step is personal information. So we're going to confirm that. We have Neil's uh, from Watertown, Wisconsin. Watertown! We got him in Watertown. His wife is Nellie. And then we have group life. We have a $10,000 employer pay group term life automatically covered. All we need to make sure is that Neil has his beneficiary added. And then we have short-term disability. We have this as an employee paid benefit. We allow Neil to design his plan based on what he thinks is best. And so we have that plan elected. And then we have long-term disability as an employer paid benefit. And this again is calculated by his income. And so we have long-term disability built into the system. And this is one I love. So this is designed for work comp commercial agencies who have a really difficult time cross-selling their book of business. Uh, when we look at this, notice this is Nellie already set. So Nellie's the spouse. And then what we did is we designed this as an employer paid accident. So we wanna go to the group, especially if they're not offering health insurance, they might have frequency claims on their work comp policy. Uh, just because they don't have protection in place. So by putting disability in place and by putting accident in place, we're helping to mitigate those questionable work comp claims. So I'm going to make sure that Nellie's added to this plan. And then we're going to hit save and continue. And we're going on to dental. Uh, Neil uh, is the only one he wants to cover on the dental plan. And then we're going to add the vision. So we have the vision for both him and Nellie. We'll add that and notice the difference in cost is calculated. So without Nelly on, 298, with Nelly on, 595, we'll hit select and then we'll hit save and continue. And then we have the critical wellness and we have the guaranteed issue amount built in. This is a great plan. We have a $35,000 guaranteed issue, 17,500 for the spouse. That's a special underwriting offer we bring. So we'll hit save and continue. And then we have hospital confinement. I'm just gonna decline this. So I'd hit decline. And you, here's the menu of options just to show you what, what the declination looks like. So I'll hit apply. And then the last thing, the last thing is, is uh, life insurance, additional life insurance. If we wanna offer that, I'm just gonna hit decline on that too. And so I'm gonna hit not interested and hit apply. And then one of the greatest things about this, one of the things I love the most is I can look at all of the, the benefits. I can hit print. So 5243, these are non-medical benefits. This is the, you know, if we offered this non-medical package and designed it the way that has been outlined, Neil's out-of-pocket cost is 5243 per pay. And when you look at it, We've added additional coverage. We've added some employer paid benefits. And then one of my favorite things that we do at the end of the presentation is give an election form. So we have an enrollment summary and we encourage the employer. We obviously will 
put their logo here. Uh, but this is a, a way that the commercial insurance agency can cross sell or round out their existing clients, give them non-medical options that are not health insurance to create revenue for the agency. Hope you found this helpful.